Well, hey there, everybody. It's Laurie McLean back with another episode of RA Raw. Happy holidays. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about how to survive the holidays when you have rheumatoid arthritis. If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that bell icon so that you get notified each and every time I upload a new video. Let's get into this video and talk about what you can do to help decrease your stress and make it through this holiday season. Let's go. Plan. The more you plan out what you want to get done this holiday season, the better. So make up a calendar if you can um, and be sure you know, let's be realistic about this, folks. If you have RA, you're going to be fatigued. You're going to have days when you just don't feel great. So don't go putting 10 items on each day for you to complete, right? You want to make those pl those plans manageable. So do two, three tasks, whatever you know you can handle this holiday season, then do it. So preparing in advance. I learned this from my mom a few years ago. She learned that there were certain things that she could prepare in advance and freeze, like your holiday baking, of course. You can prepare that, you know, a long time in advance. But the other thing that you can prepare in advance is potatoes, turnip, um, anything like that, any root vegetable really, you can prepare it in advance and freeze it. She just simply reheated them the day of. Honestly, guys, that was so much easier for her. So I started doing it and yeah, it does. It really, really lightens the load. Here's a little bonus tip. If you are doing mashed potatoes, rather than using, you know, the handheld masher that is like pff, archaic to begin with and is really difficult for those of us that have trouble gripping, put your potatoes in your KitchenAid mixer, your blender, whatever you have. Oh my goodness, they come out so fluffy and it is so much easier. Use bags for gifts rather than wrapping. You know, this took me a while to come around to because I, re I enjoy wrapping gifts, but it hasn't always been easy. You know, dexterity to get those gifts wrapped when your hands aren't working, forget about it, right? It is, it's really difficult. So use bags. I can guarantee that people aren't gonna get upset if you put their gift in a bag rather than wrapping it. Limit alcohol consumption. Limiting alcohol not only helps with your RA, but of course it's important and it's, it helps your kidneys, your liver. Um, I, I don't drink the rest of the year, I really don't, but when it comes to the holidays, I do like to have a glass of wine or I like to have, you know, a shot of whiskey or events throughout the holidays, I know for many of you out there. Rather than having an alcoholic beverage, have um, club soda. There's really good, what I call rich people water now. So like bubbly or, um, you know, your carbonated waters that have some natural flavorings in them. Pour that into a glass and, you know, walk around with that if you feel like you need to have something in your hand. Um, it really does, you know, put a pinch of lemon in there or lime. It's delicious, it really is. And I can guarantee you're gonna feel a lot better the next day than those that have completely over imbibed the night before. We're gonna go back and talk about that meal again. And you can actually do this any time of the year, all the time, it doesn't matter. And that is have your groceries delivered. A lot of supermarkets are now offering that service. I don't know about you, but I really, really dislike getting groceries. So for me, getting them delivered or ordering them online is so much easier. Oh man. Remember to rest. You now during the holidays, it's really, really easy to forget to take care of yourself. But honestly, folks, you do. You still have to mind your RA. You need your rest. Or by the time the big day comes along, you are going to be exhausted and really just not enjoy the day to the best that you could. And again, by planning those things that you need to get done, you can spread out the tasks that need to get accomplished over a variety of days. You know, you can spread them out over the whole month. 
rather than cramming them into the last few days. Downsize and simplify. Most years, I have put together a really large Christmas village. It's something that I really enjoy doing. This year, I have been experiencing a little bit more fatigue than I have in the past. What you see over here, that is what I did. I just put them in crates right behind me by my desk here where I can enjoy them, where others can enjoy them as well. So if you can realistically look at the things that you can do and say, okay, I'm not gonna bite off more than I can chew this year. I mention this in just about every video because I do believe in the power of it, and that is meditation. If you can take some time each day to meditate, ground yourself, de-stress. I'm going to include the link down below to a meditation that I put together a while ago, and it's one that I use often, and I find that it helps a lot just to clear your mind of those pressing things, you know, those thoughts that keep going around and around and around. If you can meditate each day, it does help. Sit while you prepare the meal. Preparing your baking, same thing. Move everything to your kitchen table and sit there to do it. I will sit down and peel the potatoes. Uh, peeling carrots, same thing, I'll sit while I'm doing it. It was something that I learned years ago to do, and it helps a lot. Remember that it's not about the meal, it's not about the gift giving, it's not about the decorations. Folks, it really is about getting together with friends and family and sharing those moments. And if you are stressed to the max and you are exhausted and your RA is flaring, you are not going to enjoy the holidays like you should. So hopefully with those tips, the holidays will be that much easier for you. They will be less stressful and you can enjoy them more. Slow it down and enjoy the moments you are given. Everybody take care and have a wonderful holiday. I'll see you later. Bye for now.